Hi everyone and welcome to the rest of the Open Zeppelin ERC20.sol and in this part we're going to write the function related to decrease allowance which is the opposite of increase allowance. This, we use this when we want to decrease the amount of money we want to uh, allow the spender to uh, actually spend and here uh, it will get the address of the spender and uh, the uint256 subtract subtracted value subtracted uh, value there we go and uh, it's, it's it uh, this function is public virtual and it returns bool So uh, the first step, just like the previous one, is to approve the um, allowance. So approve msg dot sender the spender and the allowances underline allowances. And then it will get the msg that sender and oh sender and the spender and uh, again we will use this sub function in order to um, check the subtracted value so the subtracted value shouldn't exceed the amount of uh, the uh, actually the allowance because if it exists exits uh, actually exceeds that amount it becomes more then uh, it will become uh, the value of the allowance will become less than zero and then uh, will not be able to uh, actually uh, spend money so now we use dot sub function so open the parentheses and we'll have the subtracted value S and so we'll have the erc20 erc20 and decreased allowance can say that decreased um, allowance below zero and there we go and then it will return true return true there we go now we'll write the burn and mint functions. So first of all, we've got the mint function. And if you don't know what mint is, mint means creating the tokens into some kind of an account. So we will bring some tokens into existence. And burn is exactly the opposite, means that, meaning that we're going to um, burn those tokens out of existence. So minting is good for the price of the is actually bad for the price of the token because uh, minting tokens is like printing money. So once you uh, print more money, the value of that token uh, is prone to um, actually becoming lower in value. But once you burn the tokens, means that it means that uh, the, the value of your tokens because uh, of its uh, number lower number will increase so here we're going to add the mint function address account and uint 256 amount so the amount of tokens to be minted and uh, then it will be the public function and also returns bool so public 
returns. Bool and there we go. So we will use the burn function, which we're going to define later, but it will get the burn function and the msg.sender, msg.sender and the amount and then return true. There we go. And now the next function is burn function, burn and it will get, the burn function will only get the amount, u int to 56 amount, and then it will be a public function that returns bool so now let's open the brackets so we will use the burn function actually in the last one we used the mint fun uh, burn function but actually you should use mint and for this one burns so burns and so it will get the message that sender and the amount msg dot sender and the amount so the address of the message sender here also the address of the message sender but notice that for the parent function that we have right here we'll only get the amount and then it will return true so just as I've said earlier, I uh, will define the uh, two functions, burn and mint, in the future, and also this is burn, not burns. Okay, now let's write the uh, real or actually the main transfer function that we're going to use internally. So uh, you might ask that what is this uh, transfer function that we have defined above and um, here as you can see this transfer function uses underlying transfer and this is what we're going to write now, uh, right now so this function is going to be virtual and in, in, um, actually uh, internal but uh, this function right over here is overwrite and overwrite means that it's going to overwrite the function that uh, we have written internally and we've added the virtual uh, to the type of the function so let's write the function here so it will get the address of the sender address sender address of the recipient and the u in 256 amount u in 256 amount and then it's going to be internal virtual as i said earlier internal virtual so um, then afterward you're going to open up the bracket so the first uh, statement here is the require so it requires that uh, the sender not be the address zero so sender the address zero and um, this was not one of the uh, conditions in our other uh, smart uh, actual token smart contracts and this is uh, actually specified for the open zeppelin so otherwise we will show to the user that um, ERC20 transfer from the zero address. So this is a kind of an error in ERC20 with Open Zeppelin. So transfer from the zero address. And there we go. So that's it. So 
we also have got another require and that is for the recipient the same is going to be true for the recipient so recipient not be the address zero and otherwise one of the rules of ERC20 is um, ERC20 is that the recipient not be the address zero so recipient transfer to zero address so actually oh, we should say transfer to the zero address and then we'll have the balance and um, here we're going to use the balance uh, we're going to use the balance balances actually balances of the sender so we're going to subtract from the uh, balance of the sender by the amount that we're going to transfer and here instead of using minus equal we're going to use something that is safer uh, using the safe uh, math function which we have used earlier but I didn't exactly uh, explain what happened there and that is dot sub function so what dot sub fu function does is to um, subtract the um, amount of whether it's a balance or allowance or whatever it is by uh, an amount that amount could be the subtracted value or whatever it is for example here added value subtracted value or the amount that is going to be transferred and it checks that the resulting of the subtraction would not be uh, will not be um, less than zero otherwise it will show to the user uh, the safe math error related to our ERC20 token so here for example it said that decreased allowance below zero and here we're going to do the same for the balance of the sender so that once we um, uh, check the balance of the sender and also the amount of uh, what is going to be sent then it shouldn't be less than zero after uh, subtracting the amount otherwise it will show the user that the uh, balance is less than the amount that is going to be transferred or vice versa the amount is uh, greater than the uh, balance so here we've got the balance of the sender and again we're going to write the balances so balances of the sender dot sub by the amount so it's going to be subtracted by the amount and here the safe math function will check whether it's less than zero or not the resulting amount and transfer to zero um, no this is going to be transfer amount exceeds balance so transfer amount um, exceeds balance there we go and we've also got uh, the add function which is for adding the amount but uh, there's nothing and there's no way it's going to go wrong so we'll have no kind of um, warning or message that we're going to show to the user so ba again balances of the sender dot add and by the amount there we go and in the end we will emit the event related to transfer so it means emit transfer and by the way we we have another transfer up here I think somewhere that we have written wrong and that is uh, transfer oh no that's fine so transfer no we've got an s missing here and also this one is right so transfer sender and the recipient 
and the amount so there we go that's it for the uh, function that is internally going to be used um, related to transfer and by, by the way let's give it the name so it's transfer or transfer actually with a small letter so and we need uh, an underline behind it so this is an internal function that is uh, going to be used and overridden by another function so that's the transfer function like this we've got another transfer function right over here that is going to use this transfer transfer function with underline so we're going also going to do the same for the approve function and also mint and burn function as you can see uh, these functions are public, but uh, we also have internal virtual functions that we're going to write uh, in the next part. So until the next video, goodbye.